so let's start by looking at the dxy on the weekly chart and then this is an overall ascending channel as you can see then we have three touches at the top and we have two touches at the bottom just like this so this is an ascending channel as you can see and then we normally expect that the touch to complete the overall pattern and then this is the overall 90% this is the first touch here and then I take this as a second touch and then this is the third touch around this point and then we have the first touch here and then we have the second touch here so we initially expect the third touch here so in simple terms we expect the DXY to be selling off uh, up until the third touch or the 90% rule of which it's around here so moving to a lower time frame of which is the daily chart now we are doing our top-down analysis so this is the daily chart so looking at the daily uh, what I'm seeing is very different from the uh, weekly chart just because we have this low here of which it was broken and we have this low here and then it shows that we can have a double bottom we already have a double bottom around this point so what I'm thinking the overall move is to the downside but at the moment we are losing momentum just because uh, most banks are closed and then this is the descending channel that we are currently working with in this point here and then what I'll do is that I'll put the 90% rule at this point and then initially what can happen is that we can have like a short term buy up until this point and then let me just change the color for that we can have like a short term buy for this and then it will initially create like a larger flag of which this is the larger impulse down this is the larger corrective move to gain momentum and then push to the downside so, so for short term we can expect some uh, bullish moves from the DXY up until the 90% rule just because we are in line with the double bottom scenario whereby people are caught in the wrong side at this point then we look for those buys up until the 90% rule of which it's confirming a larger flag that will push to the downside so let's look at um, gold and try to correlate everything with the DXY so let me just switch to a for our chart and our chart just to check if I'm missing something so on the four hour let's check the four hour so on the four hour we are currently at this uh, price let me just fix my analysis currently looking at this type of price action so initially people are caught in the wrong side in this point here but it seems like it's not enough and then what can happen is that I'll just remove this uh, rail line here and then plot another one in this point here in this point here like this and then what we can expect is a mini double bottom within here in a form of an override and then we get those short term buys up until this point then we look for those uh, larger moves to the downside but like on the hour chart what I'll do is that I'll just uh, try to filter out like the this area here and see if we can get like something that we can work with so so far uh, we are correcting very much and then we are still uh, in a short term sell whereby we can expect uh, the double bottom to happen and then we look for those uh, bullish moves to the upside so this is currently what we have and then for it to change structure what I'll be expecting is for the market to clearly push to the downside impulsively in this point here and then create a tight flag around here like this then this could be uh, a tight flag that we can uh, work with for us to get like those selling opportunities from there so looking at gold we already know the movement for the DXY so that's simple for us to analyze gold so let's look at gold on the daily chart let me refresh so on gold uh, what i'll do is that i'll focus on the current market structure of which is this one here and then we have a series of touches as you can see and then we have this as our trend line at the bottom just like this and then what i like to do is that i don't force like touches like this so that i can get like most touches what i do is that i just focus on the price action just like this and then we have the overall 90 percent rule here 
and we have the overall high of which is this one here this can be our second target and then we have a value area in this point here and then another thing that you'll see is that the market is corrective in this point here so this will go back to that dxy concept that i was talking about that we can get like those short term buys and then for for us to get like those short term buys on the dxy then it means that we will get a short term sell on gold up until this point here and then that will be making a larger flag also on the dx also on gold just because there's an impulse up and then we expect a follow-up with a larger corrective move to initially pop to the upside hitting the 90 percent rule around that point so we also had like a triple bottom at this point here that i'll just focus on and then removing this here we move to a lower time frame so that we can just get to see uh, what's happening so on the four hour chart we are still uh in a corrective ascending channel like this and then as you can see it's already squeezing up to the upside and then we had that mass psychology activation already made and then this is a ray line that i can just remove it was just catering for that mass psychology area and then we had like an override in that point whereby we get like those nice selling opportunities and then if you look uh, at the price at the past price action you'll see that we are expecting like some buying opportunities this is the impulsive leg here and then this is the corrective move here whereby i'm expecting a clear double bottom whereby we can initially look for buying opportunities and then this can be the larger flag that we are focusing on so let's switch to a hour time frame so on the hour time frame this is the price action that we are currently working with and then uh what i'm currently thinking on this one is that we have a corrective move all the way to the downside as you can see here and then this can be the tight flag that we can expect in an early entry if you take early entries this is the cell that you can take and then to be protected you can just use like a cell stop just below here and then your stop loss is just above this point here and then you're looking for that overall double bottom in a form of a larger flag for you to uh, sell to buy so you're selling and then you look for those buying opportunities like this so this is uh, how i'll be looking at gold and then let me just try and do this and then another thing that you can see is that this is a form of a head and shoulders this is a form of a head and shoulders whereby it's not perfect but it can work and then to be on the safe side if you don't uh, feel to take like a early entry like this you can just wait for a break of structure whereby you wait for the first tie flag here and then you take it to the downside and then you look for buying opportunities also is that uh, we haven't reached the overall 90% rule of which it's at this point here and then we broke this area here it's not like we're in no man's land we broke this area here in a form of a ascending channel a mini double top at this point here but what can also happen is that we can just try to evolve everything and then by evolving everything what i mean is that we can just try and focus on the current market structure of which is this one here just like this just like this and then focusing on the current market structure that is when we get like a push to the upside a little push to the upside and then you can just change each and everything here and then what you do is that you'll have this type of a pattern happening some type of a expanding pattern of which it will be like this and then what you do is that you focus like this on the current market structure just like this and you can have a low at this point here then what this can happen what this can make is that you'll have a tight flag around here to just continue pushing to the upside hitting the overall 90% rule and then after hitting the 90% rule this could be this would be the larger ascending channel that we were looking forward to having 
on the way to the upside maybe in a form of like this we don't know the angle as of yet so you can just do something of this nature and then hitting the overall 90% through that is when you get like those larger selling opportunities from here to the overall lows so this is uh, something that you can look forward to having and another thing that you can look forward to be having is that uh, this can just create something of this nature let me just remove everything there just show you uh, what can happen so what can happen is you can have like this tight flag that is happening at the moment and then it pushes to the downside pushes to the downside from here and then it creates a more evolved uh, expanding pattern of which it will be in this type of format let me just remove that and then already as you can see uh, the price is very corrective you will get a mini descending channel within the mini running channel or a running channel in simple terms something of this nature and then you look for uh, those buys from here to hit the overall 90% rule just like this and then that's when you'll be looking for those sales from here so yeah that is how uh, I'll be looking at uh, gold so make sure that you cater for each and every scenario correctly 